guys, Jimmy back again. Gonna throw a quick little episode together just to show you what we're doing. Turtz has hit me up and said, oh, let's get some washing done today. And we've decided to stay another night here at this beautiful camp. So we're sort of out in the middle of nowhere, not too far from Charters Towers, just north. And there's a creek down there, like a little river. And you're just like, well, there's heaps of water down there. Let's get into our van because we don't have enough water to do our washing. Because if you do a full cycle, it uses about 100 litres a cycle. Uh, but I'm going to show you guys how easy I've made it with my ute that we can uh, just grab water from down there and just pump it straight in the van. And it's also good enough to drink because I've got a major filter system, which you may have seen already. But um, yeah, let's go. Let's go down there and uh, I'll show you how we do it. So this is the creek down here. Not far away at all. So it's going to drive down here, back up to the water and yeah, throw a bit of water in. So this is with my little filter set up. I've just got the, uh, this is what I used to pull the awning out, so I'm just gonna jam that in the water. Got a little filter on the end of it, and um, obviously this water's pretty fresh anyway, like, as you can see, it's a stunning spot. Bloody amazing. And um, yeah, so I'll just clip this on, and I'll show you in a second um, how easy it is to just suck it up. So, I'll just push that in the water. Look at that, right behind me. So it's taken me like, what, a couple of minutes to get set up. And you can see that's the water. So I've just got the filter pushed in. And this is the setup that I have here. So I've got a tap, hose comes out. And you may have seen this setup on one of my previous videos, but basically what I have is a water pump that sits in there, which is identical to the one in the van. And um, you can see, so this is the one that goes to the creek. So this pump, I think, can suck a head of about five meters. And it goes up, and it can't go back into the tank because I've got that closed off, but it's gonna go through the pump, through this hose, out the tap, and then I've just got the tap one which comes around, and it's gonna pump. See, that one's open, so it's gonna pump straight into the tank because that one's closed. And this is just my overflow. So I've actually got a little, little um, breather on the top there. So all I do now, I've got to switch up here for the pump, turn that on. And you can hear it sucking a bit of air there at the moment. There we go. And just to give you an idea, I won't put too much water out, but if I was to turn that off, pop that out, you can see a fair bit of water, that's only half open. So I've got a 60 litre tank in here and it fills it up pretty darn quick might take you know five to ten minutes something like that but yeah how cool is that and then when I pump it back into the van I've got an inline filter so this is before it goes into the tanks or any of the lines in the van and then I've got a three-stage filter system with a UV filter that I use before we drink it so so as you can see that's like super easy and while we're here on this free camp, you know, we, um, we were only gonna stay one night and this will be our third night. And this is the beauty of having a setup. I mean, it's not like professionally installed, but I've installed it really well so that it'll come out really easily. But man, it just makes life easy while you're here. So we can stay an extra, we could stay here for a week if we want to, because we've got enough food. And um, it's only the water, which is the issue, but like, I mean, why can't you fill up out of that, right? So it takes me a few trips, but um, I could realistically fill our whole van up in, you know, four, four trips. So within an hour I've got our, our van really completely full. And um, yeah, we're going to do our washing now so we don't have to worry about that in a few days and we can hang it out here and let it dry. And yeah, it's just awesome to think of all these little things while you're, while you're traveling, you know. Anyway, I hope you found that interesting. And uh, if you want to do it yourself, it's super easy. It only takes a few, um, few taps to be able to shut the water off in certain directions. And shout out to my little brother. He, um, he thought of this just in no time, so a bit of a little gun with all this stuff. He's very, very good at it. But um, yeah, there you go, that's it, that's the setup. And I'll show you when we get up to the top and we'll fill the van up again. Okay, so this is the setup now. I've just um, 
there we go i've got it connected directly up to the the main plug for the van i haven't been filling the tank up but yeah i've just got it coming off the tap going through the filter as you can see and um yeah you have to clean the filter out every now and again obviously because it's um i think it goes down to 10 microns this one yeah i'm not sure exactly but um then i've got the the three filters in the van as i said earlier so if we would ever drink it or something like that you know we're definitely not going to get sick and yeah so i can turn this off Put this trusty old fella on, got a tap on it too. Turn that on, as you can see. So I can put the rest of it in the tank and I've got the breather working there. How good, right? Man, bloody awesome. Anyway, that's it. If you wanna know how to do it, just go back and watch how I um, connected up those little taps on the hoses and put a water tank in your car. You're good to go. Sweet. Oh yeah, and don't forget the pump. Makes a difference, obviously. Anyway, have a good day.